What's up everyone? Today we have some five exercises that's gonna help you reverse sitting too long. Now we know that we're sitting in a car, we're sitting at work, we're sitting in an airplane, sitting everywhere. And so this is such a great way, five different ones. It's gonna be really simple, quick. So go ahead and jump in here with me, grab yourself a mat and let's get started. First exercise, I'm gonna start you off with my favorite, is called the bridge or the twist. So starting at the base of your bat, the bottom part, lowering down one vertebrae at a time. Good, always remember to keep breathing through each one of these moves I'm gonna show you. We're gonna go ahead and go into bridge. So just sending your hips up towards the sky, your feet are right underneath your knees. Feel the opening here as you're gonna feel this all through your hip flexors and into your lower back, strengthening it, relieving it. And now we're just gonna add a twist. I haven't ever seen this before, and I absolutely love the feeling of it as you just start to really go side to side, opening up through, more of through the upper body and the lower body. Again, breathe. Beautiful job. When you're ready, go ahead and just hug your knees in. And we're gonna start off with our second exercise, which will be the figure four. Crossing that leg over, and you just wanna have that nice, good figure four. So instead of that knee popping up towards your chest, just try to push it away gently. You can either keep that leg bent or you can straighten it out. Going in through the eye, doesn't matter. Figure four looks a little bit different than everyone, but right here, what I like to do a little different is rock side to side through there. You feel that nice, good stretch through your hips. Big inhale and exhale. Love it, great job. Let's go ahead and now switch to the other leg. Again, you can either keep it bent, straighten it, listen to your body, just do whatever feels the absolute best for you. Sitting so long throughout the day, your body will respond to how it needs to. Great job. Go ahead and roll yourself up as we go into our next one. This is going to be our garland pose. So this one is phenomenal, especially for your hips and for your ankles. So this is something that you can do right up against a wall. You can do it right against with your chair. Essentially, you're just gonna kind of open up through your hips. You're pressing, as your hands come together, you're pressing the elbows onto, gently onto the inside of those knees as you're just gonna sit here. Now, most of some people find themselves up here or they'll find themselves always up onto their toes. The journey of this is to try to get more into the heels and you can just kind of rock yourself into this movement, adding a little bit of some dynamic movement. And you're gonna feel how tight you are in some areas. Maybe it's your low back, maybe it's your hips. Just breathe in this. We've got about another 10 seconds. Awesome. Next one, let's go into a low lunge. So one foot stays up at the top of the mat, the other foot steps back and drops down. From here, you just go ahead and either keep your hands onto the floor if you'd like, or you can come up, bringing the arms up and over and really having more of a full body stretch here, opening up through the upper body and the lower body. Notice here, you wanna to try to keep a straight line from your knee to your other knee. So if you're here, you just wanna drop down into it so that the hips get lower and lower to the mat. Now you know what I feel, you know what I mean? You're gonna feel this right through here. Big deep breath. Good 
Beautiful job. And let's go ahead and now switch to the other leg. Beautiful job. And the last one, little heart opener. So this is a really good for now the upper body. You can either be kneeling, seated, you could be standing. There's so many ways that you can do this one, but it's really, really phenomenal for the upper part of your body. So I would first start off basic, just by kind of just placing your hands into your lower back as you just open up through your chest. You'll definitely feel that. This will be kind of more of a modification. For those of you who want to be kneeling, you can do the same thing here. If you want to go a little bit more intermediate, you can then drop down to your heels and open up here. And a little bit more advanced, you'll be able to take it um, in any other position that you'd prefer. Some people would like to do maybe the wheel pose. There's all different sorts of poses for this. So just starting off, whatever feels best for you. Big deep inhale. And exhale. And when I come out of that one, I take one arm at a time and then set it back down. So those were your five different stretches, you guys, that you could do on a daily basis to help counteract the sitting position where we're constantly getting tighter and tighter and tighter. So great job, you guys. Please utilize this as much as possible so that you can feel that nice, good, healthy young body of yours. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep watching if you want to cut that fat and keep your curves. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing three things, water, fat, and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now, you feeling great, and your new transformation can start today.